Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we're gonna take a look at Sierra Chart and we're gonna talk about how to actually import a custom study or a study collection or a chart book. Um, you can do that absolutely within Sierra Chart. So we're gonna go through that process here. The first thing that we'll wanna do is um, find a, a file. So if you have a, a friend or a, another trader or maybe you found a, another study or, or a collection here, uh, on a message board or something like that, you can absolutely import those within Sierra Chart. And so I'm gonna use just the Sierra Chart website. They have some additional uh, files here. You can see study collections, spreadsheets, chart books that are uh, options here that you can uh, add in a Sierra Chart and uh, play with here. So I'm gonna use the Ichimoku study collection file as an example here. So I'm just gonna click on this here to download it. You can see I did download here pretty quickly. Uh, and then we'll go to the folder that that is in. Um, it happens to download here, in my case, to the downloads folder. I'm just gonna move this to my desktop. That's not uh, necessary, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move that just to make it a little bit easier on me here. And then uh, what we'll wanna do is uh, leave our file explorer open or open up one if you don't already have one opened. Uh, so you can do that by accessing my computer or my documents. And then we're gonna go to the C drive here. You can see that's an option in the left-hand side here. Now, if I select my C drive, we have a few different folders, Windows, Program Files, but one of those folders is the Sierra Chart folder. So I'm gonna double click on that. And that'll bring up, of course, a few more folders. And the one that we're interested in here is the Data folder. So if I select Data here, we'll open this up and we see we have a few files in here. I have some uh, instrument data here, as well as um, uh, some chart books. And we also see some other study collections here, you can see. Um, now all I need to do at this point is drag in this Ichimoku study collection here into this folder here. And this will actually allow it to be accessible within uh, Sierra chart. So now that that's in there, in there and uh, good, I'm gonna go ahead and close this out and we'll open up Sierra chart. All right, uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and just open up a, a chart here as an example, and we'll go ahead and add that Ichimoku study collection that we just added into Sierra chart, our data folder there. And uh, so I have a chart open here. We're gonna go to analysis, and you see that the Ichimoku is now a study collection here that is available for me within Sierra chart. And of course, you don't have to do that with just study collections. You can also uh, use that for uh, chart books or spreadsheets as well. And it works just the same way, just by, uh, placing those files in the correct folder for Sierra Chart. If you have any questions on this process, please feel free to give us a call or visit our website at www.optimusfutures.com.